hello vlog welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video welcome to the vlog there's one thing you need to know when you come to my channel everything we do on my channel at Service Bay welcome hello is around the mantra grow up don't give up grow up don't give up so we do a sit down, talk about it, blah, blah, blah. But there's only so much talking you can do about a mantra before you just have to go and do it and show it and experience it and share it. And that's why we have vlogs and videos like that too. So today's video is a vlog and we're going to go to my college town. It's 2021. I graduated college in December 2017. And then I moved about three hours away to Boston where I live now. And we're gonna go back there because it's Saturday. We're gonna go to the infamous Troy Farmer's Market. We're gonna go to where I used to work at Liza's Acai Bowl Palace. And we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see who there is to see. And we're gonna walk around my campus a little bit too. And it's gonna be a great day. So time to put on a little playlist and get going. I will see you when we are there. We made it. Oh, stretch. Driven on that 90 road because it goes all the way to Boston. So many times, like probably a hundred in the hundreds of times. And I always think about how a past version of myself was driving down that road, driving down that highway, and like what she was up to, what she knew, what she didn't know, like what was in her life. And like our lives are always changing. And there's always those versions of ourselves all around us. Like, I don't know. And it was also, I get deep thoughts when I'm driving and I get deep thoughts regularly. Driving like amplifies them. All right, time to go get Liza's and show you around downtown Troy. Oh my God. <laughs> Liza so much. Oh my god, I got the best acai bowl, which you probably saw. And it's just so freaking cute in there. Alright, so now we're gonna go to it's um 1249. So we've only got a little bit of time before the farmers market closes. So we're gonna go check that out now and we'll see all of the other things. I'm just like staring at all the different things because Troy is so, so poppin' these days. beginner hip-hop classes at the Troy Dance Studio. I was terrible, by the way. Day. I got my coffee 
I got it from a place I've literally never heard of, so it must be new, but it's nitro cold brew with oat milk and maple. I feel like a new woman. So yeah, I'm just walking now after I stumbled upon that little jazzy concert. So cute. around in it for forever just browsing and yeah this is most of the highlights of downtown Troy there's a few places that I didn't walk by just because of the way that I'm walking but I think it's time to go find my car and drive up the hill because <laughs> I don't feel like walking um to drive up the hill and go visit our PI. It's graduation weekend for all the RPI people. I actually didn't have, like my diploma came in the mail. So that was also kind of sad, but I had such like a, I would like to say love hate, but it was a hundred percent hate relationship. <laughs> With like graduating and everything because I just felt so lost when I was in, in Buffalo which is why I was passing through here anyways to come to go home to Boston I got my diploma and I actually have it with me should I go take oh my god I'm this is gonna be so funny but I'm gonna go take some pictures with it for fun but let me show you look look at this bad boy If only I had my cap and gown with me, I would be like a fake graduate. I could ma name this video, fake graduate goes back to, I don't know. I don't know what I would name it, but it would be something funny. All right, before we go to campus, uh, I'm outside the college bar, ready? Oh man, oh man, the memories here. Anyways, I was just driving by it on my way to campus, so we had to stop and then the pizza place is like down there that we'd always go to after. And then my old house, one of them, my um, senior year part one <laughs> house is over here. Right down there. Okay, we've secured a spot down on campus and we're gonna walk around. Um, also, I was thinking as I was driving around, I was like driving around like for five minutes. I was like, I wonder if I'm the first ever Engineer turned vlogger. <laughs> Hopefully so. And then RPI can recognize me for being, for my, I don't even know, for something. You can recognize me for something. All right, and I still got my diploma because like I said, better late than never to do a photo shoot, right? It's 2021, so it's only been 2021, 2017, 18, 19, so like three, four years, it's fine. Three and a half totally normal. So yeah, this is walking up to campus. Here we go. The amount of stress that I endured on this campus was a lot, but Somehow I yet still, I still have very fond memories. <laughs> and just strolling through here, shitting my pants about the test that I probably failed. And, but I was with my friends and I don't know, it was college. Like I wanted a challenge, I got a freaking challenge.
2018. Okay, we'll keep going. Um, so yeah, I did design and I had like, I had studios, kind of like an architecture studio. And we would do projects like about product development, poster design, critical design. I did a senior capstone, I did a senior thesis and I did all this stuff and it was, it was so great. So that's why when I started like, also I apologize for any wind in the video, but we're doing great I think. Also that's why when I started working, I was like, this isn't invigorating for me. Like I picked the wrong kind of thing to start working out, but that's okay. Are you ready for the view? I'm sorry I couldn't show you the show you ECAV. Basically, when I went up there, since that's where the graduation is, it was like really blocked off. I don't know why like people don't sign your diploma like a yearbook like I would totally have had the people that influenced positively <clears throat> let me clarify the people that positively influenced my college experience like not my peers but professors and coaches and other people like I would have totally had them, them sign like the back of my diploma because that just seems cool. But this is the first time that my diploma's even been at campus because like I mentioned, I had a weird graduation. Class of 2020. Oh, cute. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I'm wise, so I'm changing myself. Snaps to that for sure also um the motto of rpi is why not change the world so it's very insightful good job class of 2020 proud of yes yeah hats off to um all my graduates my cousin graduated from law school actually it's a fun time i'm definitely not opposed to going back to school, grad school, PhD, but um, I don't like taking tests and I don't like other people grading my work, but I love learning. So that's why we're doing this because it's learning and y'all are in charge of my grade. So man, oh man, we're about to walk through the engineering area. Let me tell you, so many of my good friends are engineers and I am female, strong female engineers and I'm so proud of all of them and I love them for what they do. And you know what? At the end of the day, I have an engineering degree, so that makes me an engineer enough. Whether or not I practice any engineering practices is up to me. And here we go. I feel like I had a bad graduation experience was because I felt this pressure to have my whole life figured out because I felt like my peers did and in reality maybe some of them had jobs and had things figured out but like we're all figuring it out so it was really my own self and my own work to do to to feel worthy and to feel like myself like I don't have to be you don't have to be anyone or anything or do any job or be any type of person that you don't want to be you get to be you and I spent a lot of time of college 
being a version of me that I thought I wanted to be, like this engineer and like, I don't know. And when I realized I didn't want all that, I felt guilty for not wanting it. But at the end of the day, it's okay. It all turns out okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm also saying this because I'm like, I'm gonna be okay. And it's more important to look at life through your own eyes and your perspective. down memory lane that was. I am nice and sweaty. It's been fun. It has been so fun. This is a super fun vlog. I'm like so excited to share it, to put it together. Thanks for coming with me along, first and foremost, this journey of Grow Up Don't Give Up. Because if there's one thing I've learned from today, it's that it's been 10 years almost since my first step foot at RPI and being a freshman in college. So I've grown up. I've grown up from college, which I know it's not a surprise to me. Thank you for joining me and helping me remind myself to not give up and to grow up and to remember all that I have accomplished and to appreciate all that I have accomplished. And if you just graduated, or even if you've graduated in the past few years, like don't forget to be proud of yourself. Your worth doesn't matter if you have the best job in the world, if you had a job right after graduation, if you changed career paths even. Your worth is not dependent on your accomplishments. So be proud of your accomplishments and separate that from feeling worthy of living a good life and having a good time and just being happy and not giving up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today. Please come back for more. We're doing all more vlogs about growing up and not giving up, fun adventures. You see New York, you see Troy now, you're gonna see more. It's gonna be so fun along the way. Love you, bye, thanks for coming. Mm.